Hi everyone, the Spider-Man here. I hope everybody's doing okay. So I've been checking my videos on my YouTube channel and I've noticed I haven't done a scorpion feeding video for a while. The last time I did one was on the 2nd of October and that was my Black Deathstalker. So as you can see, this is my little small scorpion collection and not forgetting my Parabuthus Velocus Orange Morph. So there is my Parabuthus Velocus Orange Morph, adult female. Um, I fed her yesterday. I fed her a Mario worm, so I can give her another Mario worm. It's not like she's over plump or she's a very overweight. She could do with a good feed anyway. So I'll feed her a little bit later. So let's get the first scorpion and uh, let's give it a feed. There we go, ladies and gentlemen, the first scorpion fed. And to be honest, um, its tail does look very, very crooked. Just at the top of the actual sting there. I don't know. It might be from when it actually molted. It does look very, very strange. We'll get a better view at the front of the scorpion. Now you can see what I mean, everybody. If you look at the tail, it is very, very crooked. So probably like when it molted, like I just said. So this is a, a fairly big meal for my Death Stalker. Looks like we're going to get another sting. There we go. Well, it's having a, a good fight with it. And uh, let's go on to the next one. There we go, everybody. Second scorpion fed. I've tried to feed three other scorpions, but uh, unfortunately they're not hungry. So as it just said, this is my male, Parabuthus Velocus Orange Morph. He's a breeding project for uh, next year. This is my adult female. Are we going to get another sting, everybody? That stinger was, was in prime position then. Now the thing is everybody, what you got to think of is that these scorpions are very, very deadly. These have got a venom level 4 or 5. The venom level works, number 1 is the weakest and number 5 is the strongest. So like I just said, these are venom level 4 or 5. Beautiful little scorpion, not very big, probably uh, two, two and a half inches around that area. It's a fairly large meal for him, but uh, as you can see, it's, uh, he's got it under control. And uh, with their venom being very, very potent, they're, they're deaded within probably 30, 45 seconds around that area. So when he's mature and uh, big enough to breed, hopefully next year, we'll have some scorplings to sell. So yeah, I'll um, leave him to uh, start eating his meal. And uh, let's go on to the next one.
So, ladies and gentlemen, oh, I do apologise. Couldn't really see much of the attack there, but uh, I tried to uh, get the scorpion to come out of its hide. That's why I put the Mario worm just by its entrance. But uh, yeah, unfortunately, the as you can see, the uh, the Mario worm went straight inside the uh, scorpion's hide. So it's uh, got its meal, but uh, yeah, we didn't see no attack. So not much I can do, I'm afraid. It was the best I could do. This Parabuthus transvelicus is the smallest one out of the two. Uh, unfortunately, the other one wasn't hungry. So we'll leave this scorpion, everybody, to continue to attack its meal and get it under control. And uh, let's go on to the next one. So, ladies and gentlemen, as you can see, the scorpion has decided to go to the back of its uh, skull, that uh, triceratops skull that I've got inside the enclosure, and you can see that huge sting. That's uh, one scorpion I would not like to get uh, stung by. So, as it said in the title, this is my female Parabuthus velocis orange morph, the one I showed you at the start of the video. And uh, as you know, she's the breeding project for my male that I showed you a bit earlier. There you go, ladies and gentlemen. As you can see, she's starting to heat her meal. So this is her second Mario worm in two days. I fed her one yesterday. And she, uh, she does need feeding up a little bit. So like I said in the start of the video... Uh, I did say she was an adult female. Well, she actually isn't, so I do apologise. Um, she's got about another one or two months left. And then she will be definitely be adult then. So like I said, she is my breeding project for my male that you've seen earlier. And I'm hoping and praying that uh, we'll do get some babies next year. So she does have a really eye appetite. Um, she could eat probably two or three Mario worms in a week. And then the next day, she could be hungry again. So, um, yeah, she's a beautiful girl. Probably my uh, favourite scorpion in my collection. Took me six months to find her. They are getting a little bit rare to find. And I paid um, £60 for her from Germany. And I, uh, best £60 I've ever spent. So I uh, hope you enjoyed this feeding video, everyone, as this is going to be the last scorpion I'm feeding in this video. And uh, thanks for watching, everyone.